Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. I wanted to show you this gorgeous little project I made. This is my very first junk journal, and I made it myself, so I've made the binding and everything. And I wanted to show you today how I made the booklet, but let me have, let me show you this one. So, I've used the Press Petals Designer Series paper to make this, as you can see. So. Um, I've got some paper in the background and then one of the pages has cut apart so I cut one out and then matted it on the colour in the background here is Early Espresso and then I've put some little enamel dots here and some matching ribbon as well but the colour here is blueberry bushel so I've matched that in the ribbon and the enamel dots so you've got that and it works like a traveller's notebook so let me open it up and you can see here um, I haven't stuck that down very well. You can see here, none of the cutter parts are just matted on some early espresso. And I've made a pocket here for it to go. And then you can see the same paper on the back. And then here is my little booklet, my first junk journal inside it, which I'm not going to show you how to do this. You can find, you can bake it whatever you want. I've just used the designer series paper and I cut the paper down to 6 by 6 I mean 6 by 12 and scored it in half along the 12 inch side to give me a 6 by 6 little journal here and you can see I've got some paper then I had some grid paper in my stash already so I used some of that as well and I made like little tuck spots here used little scraps of ribbon and none of the cut parts and you can see here you know a little tuck spot um, here where I've done you know and I've just decorated as the fancy takes me this is the Rococo Rose Linen Ribbon and it matches the collection perfectly with the linen matching this linen in the background here you can see here's a big tuck spot I love this this flower here the blueberry bushel flowers they're lovely I've got some watercolour cardstock here in the centre um, some more paper here in the very centre. I've got um, a paper bag, you know, so you can put things in here, whatever you want. This can act as a little tuck spot here, and then it's the same going through the second half where I've just decorated as the fancy's taken me. Here I put in a little to do list, um, you know, I've really just pleased myself. You know, here I've got another little pocket, you know, more decoration. And so that's my little journal. I've bound it just using some of our Night of Navy um, baker's twine. But what I really wanted to show you today, so you can make any booklets you want to put in here. I just wanted to make a little junk journal like this, and then I can put some knickknacks, some photos, some mementos, whatever I want in there. And I can add, obviously, another booklet here. And if you add another string here you can add two more booklets around here and two more booklets around here so the whole thing could actually hold um, six booklets in total um, but I wanted to show you how I made the binding so let's get started okay so I made it out of chipboard and the chipboard I used I just got on Amazon and I've covered two pieces with double sided tape you can use tear and tape I had some bigger tape in my stash I used that but I have used some tear and tape as well and let me tell you how big these sheets are. They're five and a half inch by seven and a half inches, both of them. And then I've got a binding piece which is in here. And the binding piece is, um, let me have a look, seven and a half inches tall, I think by one and a half inches, yeah, one and a half inches wide. So that's going to make our journal. Now we need to wrap this chipboard first. And we're going to use some early espresso cardstock and I've got two pieces here and they measure nine and a half inches by seven and a half inches both and on the one seven and a half inch side I mean uh, nine and a half inch side I should rather say I've um, added some double sided tape some tear and tape so we can attach both pieces together so let's do that now so we're going to take this piece and we're just going to line it up here at the bottom so it's just covering your tear and tape and you want to make sure everything is as straight as possible and then you're just going to remove the tape and you're going to stick it down now when you're doing a job like this your best friend 
is your bone folder to get things to stick because I've said to you before double sided tape tear and tape is pressure adhesive tape so you need to give it a burnish to make sure it sticks good and proper okay okay so now I'm going to score a one inch line along the bottom here to keep it straight as I said so just going to go one inch whoops don't jump the trap like that and all the way down as far as you can go and then I'm just going to flip the cardstock and join the lines up like that and that's just for me to make sure everything is the same height is straight okay so we have that done and now we're going to lay our pieces down I'm going to put our binding piece our spine in the center where the fold is where the two pieces meet and then we're going to keep about an eighth of an inch space so you can see here an eighth of an inch space something like that and put our one piece down and the same on the other side and do that so I'm going to do that and then take these backings off And this is when the bone folder is invaluable because you just want to give it a good burnish to make every sure everything is really nice and stuck. Okay, it is now. So now what you're going to do is just take your bone folder and you're just going to run it around all four sides next to the chipboard like this just to score, just to get those... Um, fibers moving okay and then we're just going to start to just bend our paper as you can see what I'm doing here just bend it up on and the same here on the side just bend it up so that your sides are now starting to fold you know and then you can bring them over and get them to start to fold now we need something to stick this down so we're going to be using some um, tear and tape so let me get that out and I find sometimes there's a struggle to um, to tear the tear and tape so I use a ruler to give me a straight edge and I'm just going to lay it down all the way around the inside and the outside okay so we've put tape everywhere and the next stage as I said before is to burnish that tape down you want it to this will really help it to um, to stick so give it a good burnish that means just rubbing your bone folder over every piece of tape making it sure it's well and truly stuck down and not going anywhere okay and now the next thing we need to do is we need to take the bulk out of these corners here because otherwise it's not going to fold nicely so you're just going to want to leave a tiny little bit of cardstock I'll show you now when I've done it and you see you've just got a little bit there to cover the corner and you want to do that on all of your corners and I still got some something sticky on my scissors so I have to get rid of that okay so now we can start to um, fold in our pieces so remove your tape from one side and then just start in the center and just fold up and press down now I'm going to do the other long edge 
is the way I do it. Take off. It's really very satisfying taking off the tape and all one big um, long strip, don't you think? Maybe, maybe it's just me, but something so satisfying taking it all off like that. Okay, and then our side bits. That didn't come off in one long zip. Okay, and here at the edges, you're just gonna. Um, I don't know how well you can see, but you're just gonna tuck in the pieces of cardstock there and then fold it over and that gives you a nice smooth corner just like when you're wrapping a present so let's get rid of our bits of tape again and there and again tuck in I'm just using my nails tuck in you can use your bone folder or something and then just fold it over like that so now what I'm going to do again as I said to you this is the best tool you can have is your bone folder I'm just going to burnish everything again and now where I've got my folds here I'm just going to start to fold this up but I'm not going to press hard I'm not going to use the tip of my bone folder I'm actually just going to use the side just to bend it up and do the same on the other side you just want to be gentle don't force it otherwise you might break your paper and there you go there's the start of our book now if you want you can just run your bone folder around the edges here as well just to give it an extra finished look so you can just take your bone folder and just run it there and there we go and that's our booklet our little book done so I just want to cover the inside next because you don't want all of this showing so I have this piece of cardstock here and I'm going to cut this down now with you um, so I'm going to get my trimmer out and the card the book here is seven and a half inches tall I think let me get my ruler to measure yes seven and a half inches tall so I'm just going to cut this paper down on the eight and a quarter side to um, seven and a quarter inches okay and I'm going to use a lovely paper trimmer to do that so let's just bring out the arm here it's such a beautiful trimmer it works so nicely so look at that beautiful cut I really like this trimmer it's light it just does the job it cuts beautifully it's light couldn't ask anything more from it okay and now we're just gonna that's gonna be there ready just for us to stick down there we go and then we're going to want to find again where those um, bending points are and the same as last time just work at it with the, the bone folder until it comes up and then we're going to do the same on the other side okay so there's your book done so you could put a binding in here um, with hinges or you could do as I'm going to do and make it a traveler's notebook so now I'm going to show you how I put in my eyelets okay so taking my ruler I know that my spine here is one and a half inches so I wanted my eyelets to be at one inch half an inch and that would be it yeah half an inch and one inch and on this one book book um, I put my eyelets um that's how far I put them in I tried to put them in about um, half an inch in and I think it's a bit too close so I'm going to have a look and just see um, I think I'm going to try and put them in maybe I, um, I'm going to put them in I think at three eighths of an inch so I'm going to make a mark at three eighths of an inch there and then again at three eighths of an inch there 
and that gives me then I'm just using a pencil but you can rub the pencil out and that gives me then a straight line to um, put my eyelets on and I want as I said them to go on I'll go at one inch um, and at half an inch so I want them to go there and there and I'm just going to do the same along the bottom so I'm going to make okay and I know my originals it wasn't the best but it's your junk journal it's not going to be the end of the world and then all I'm going to do is take my um, take my proper dial and find where I made the mark and then punch through and I'm just going to use my pokey tool to get out the the detritus and I'm going to do that now for all four holes okay so all four holes are in here one thing I should have said is that I first decorated my spine and my cover before I put the holes in so I would be um, wouldn't have to then uh, make the holes again and everything after I put the designer series paper on but I'm not going to decorate this one so I'm just showing you what I'm doing um, I'll just tell you the sizes of my designer series paper though um, this was five and a half I mean five and a quarter by seven and a quarter and then this was seven and a quarter by um, one and three eighths okay but those measurements will be on the blog post on my website as well so I'm just going to show you quickly um, what I did I put these eyelets in to help and then we're going to try and set them now I warn you me and setting eyelets aren't um, the best of friends so this might not go at all to plan um, these are just some eyelets I had in my stash that fit the larger hole on the um, proper dial so I'm just trying to set it and it's sort of set there we go I don't have a lot of power in my hands to set this so I struggle and there is a few pieces of cardstock to go through as well you could have maybe had a bigger eyelid would have helped but I don't have them so I have used what I've got okay so I've set you know those two are there and then we're going to just do these two quickly here at the bottom and do one do the other and hope it works sort of okay so there we go there we have the eyelets for our traveler's notebook okay and then I'll just show you on this one how I threaded it through just take out my um, little booklet so I just got some yellow elastic from Amazon I think this is one millimeter or something elastic and all I did was start in the middle here so I started the middle um, then I went along here through here over here back through along here through that hole around there through that hole and back up to the middle to meet here and then tied it off in a knot so it was just basically going round the round the bend <laughs> down here over here through here back over here and back to where you started just a long way round to go round the bend so <laughs> all said and done that's what I wanted to show you was my junk journal and then you just put that in like that and there you go I need to stick that down again but that's your junk journal and my bows come undone as well so it is a pile of junk <laughs> nah I liked it I had great fun making it I hope you enjoyed it and found the, the tutorial useful thank you so much for watching if you want any information it'll be on the blog post on my website and the links to my blog post and um, links to my website and all my social media links including my 
the Facebook group are in the description box below. If you did like the video, I'd be grateful if you could give us a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. So, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.